The Chelyabinsk meteor was the remains of a 20-meter-in-diameter asteroid that entered Earth's atmosphere over the southern region in Russia on the 15th of February 2013. Hitting the Earth's atmosphere, the asteroid exploded into a meteor air burst. The explosion generated a bright flash that was even brighter than the sun. Eyewitnesses have said that they felt intense heat radiating from the flash. Its energy is to be equivalent to the blast yield of 400 to 500 kilotons of TNT. That is 26 to 33 times as much energy as the atomic bomb that detonated at Hiroshima. This is what NASA's planetary defense program is set out to prevent. It's not known to everyone, but in January 2016, a Planetary Defense Coordination Office was established within NASA's Planetary Science Division. Its mission is to look for near-Earth objects, such as comets and asteroids, and potentially hazardous objects that could impact Earth, and to help the US government prepare for a potential impact event. But not only that, it is also its mission to coordinate efforts to mitigate and deflect potential threats if one is detected. That is, asteroids and comets larger than 30 to 50 meters in diameter compared to the 20-meter Chelyabinsk meteor. September 26, 2022, a NASA spacecraft rammed an asteroid at blistering speed in an unprecedented dress rehearsal for the day a huge asteroid threatens Earth. The $325 million mission was the first attempt in the history of humankind to shift the position of an asteroid or any other natural object in space. After touchdown or slamdown, Elena Adams, a mission system engineer, announced at the news conference that as far as they could tell, the first planetary defense test was a success. The message filled the room with applause. She also said that all humans now could sleep better at night, knowing that if a real situation should present itself, they are prepared. The galactic slam occurred at a harmless asteroid 7 million miles or 11.3 million kilometers away, with the spacecraft named DART plowing into the space rock at 14,000 miles per hour. Scientists expected the impact to carve out a crater, hurl streams of rocks and dirt into space, and most importantly, alter the asteroid's orbit. Telescopes around the world and in space aimed at the same point in the sky to capture the spectacle. Though the impact was immediately obvious, DART's radio signal abruptly ceased, it will take as long as a couple of months to determine how much the asteroid's path was changed. The asteroid, named Dimorphos, is 525 foot. It's a moonlet of Didymos, Greek for twin, a fast-spinning asteroid five times bigger that flung off the material that formed the junior partner. The pair have been orbiting the Sun for eons without threatening Earth, making them ideal save-the-world test candidates. Last November, the vending machine-sized DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, launched and navigated to its target using new technology developed by John Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory, the spacecraft builder and mission manager. DART's onboard camera, a key part of this smart navigation system, caught sight of Dimorphos barely an hour before impact. With an image beaming back to Earth every second, Adams and other ground controllers in Laurel, Maryland watched with growing excitement as Dimorphos loomed larger and larger in the field of view alongside its bigger companion. Within minutes, Dimorphos was alone in the pictures. It looked like a giant grey lemon, but with boulders and rubble on the surface. The last image froze on the screen as the radio transmission ended. Flight controllers cheered, hugged one another, and exchanged high fives. Their mission complete, the DART team went straight into celebration mode. Normally, losing signal from a spacecraft is a very bad thing, but in this case, it was the ideal outcome for the engineers. Scientists insisted DART would not shatter Dimorphos. The spacecraft packed a scant 1,260 pounds, compared with the asteroid's 11 billion pounds. But that should be plenty to shrink its 11-hour, 55-minute orbit around Didymos. The impact should spare 10 minutes of that. The anticipated orbital shift of 1% might not sound like much, scientists noted, but they stressed it would amount to a significant change over years.
The Planetary Science Division director clearly expresses that it is now the science starts to see how effective the impact was. Planetary defense experts prefer nudging a threatening asteroid or comet out of the way, given enough lead time, rather than blowing it up and creating multiple pieces that could rain down on Earth. Multiple impactors might be needed for big space rocks or a combination of impactors and so-called gravity tractors, not yet invented devices that would use their own gravity to pull an asteroid into a safer orbit. The non-profit B612 Foundation, dedicated to protecting Earth from asteroid strikes, has been pushing for impact tests like DART since its founding by astronauts and physicists 20 years ago. They all agree that the world must do a better job of identifying the countless space rocks lurking out there. Significantly less than half of the estimated 25,000 near-Earth objects in the deadly 460-foot range have been discovered, according to NASA and fewer than 1% of the millions of smaller asteroids capable of widespread injuries are known. There is more focus on this now than before. The Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile promises to revolutionize the field of asteroid discovery. Finding and tracking asteroids is their biggest priority, as that's the thing that must happen in order to protect our Earth. Hopefully, this will put your mind to ease, but as I see it, we are only lucky that we haven't been hit by an asteroid yet. We don't have a fully-fledged planetary defense up and running yet, but thankfully we are on our way. And as Adam said, now we can sleep better at night. Make sure to check out the video on the left, it's what YouTube thinks you would want to watch next. On the right, you have a playlist of our most popular videos. Thanks for watching.